Friedrich Hayek's claim is that public organizations are the same as private organizations. So we should split them up and then make them work for maximum profit. Actually, this leads to war and conflict because what you're doing when you uh, make everyone compete against everyone if for scarce goods, you're actually creating um, disconnection between people. And what makes us thrive as human beings is actually to feel connected to other people. But if we continuously need to be at um, in competition with other people, it's like it's like being at war continuously. So we feel disconnected. We feel afraid. We feel we have to defend ourselves. And when we uh, when we systematically build our societies and organize our societies without taking care of the we, you know, the how, what the public sector's job is, is to care for the commons, secure the clean water, secure the meeting places, take care of the weak. It's, it's the hallmark of civilization. If we only organize also the public sector as a war for scarce goods, and we extract that from nature, we're going to destroy both the planet and ourselves because we're going to start to there will be increasing conflict, there will be more wars, and we will start to buy our own gun to defend ourselves. Whereas we will actually thrive more, create more value if we collaborate, if we see the fact that we are all one. And it's not like we're each our own wave and we're going to fight the, all the other waves to get a larger piece of the ocean, it's not gonna work because the other waves are not going to accept it. And anyways, you're part of the same ocean. And the way we think now that it's me against everyone or it's my family against everyone else and I have to defend myself. If everyone thinks like that, I mean, you don't have to be very intelligent, intelligent to see that it's not going to work out. What is important as a human being? What makes you happy? What makes you happy is that you can actually be, you can be experiencing life. You can be present in the moment. You can see that blue ocean. You can see that beautiful tree and how it's waving in the wind. Do you notice that in your daily life? Or are you running to survive, to earn more money, to win over others? And you know, if that is your only goal in life and you cannot sit down to contemplate, you miss your whole life. And uh, you will see how everyone else are against you and you'll position yourself to make the most for yourself. Whereas what is needed in the world today is people that see the larger vision, that see how we want society to be. And we want a society where we care for all. Like that's better for you. It's better for me. And uh, I think I don't have the solution for every sector and for every every public organization, but I think we need a mind shift and we need to sit down and actually breathe and think about what we want rather than what we do not want. We need to have a vision and then work that vision out in detail. And then, you know, it's not going to be easy because we built this society to focus on maximum economic gain, short-term economic gain, and it's not benefiting the planet, it's not benefiting the people, and it has very bad consequences. But it's what we need to do.